Well, anyway, thank you guys for being here. Um, Coffee. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about it. So, so what got you? I mean, this is a whole, wow. I, I literally didn't think of that till just this moment. And um, that's a whole series you could do around the show, really. No, we would love to. Yeah. Yeah. Should. Don't give us ideas. <laughs> I, I am throwing them. I am throwing them. So you're, you're, how did you get the, involved. what was that? You're getting robbed as an idea. We're probably going to make a film and submit it to story <laughs> next <laughs> I, I mean, support that. I fully well, support yeah. that. Uh, so, how did you guys come up with the idea for the film? Uh, we've been uh, we were writing it, uh, and we wanted to work with each other um, during uh, uh, our, fi school. our final year of acting school. Um, and I don't know why. I have no idea why. We we so we went to Brooklyn College. We did our BFA together. It's a three year program. Uh, 12 people get in um, uh, every year wow. and the 12 t stay together for three years. Um, I don't know why they did not, they never let Harry and I work in the same scene. And it was not like, it wasn't that we weren't like serious actors. Of course, like we're good friends. It was evident we were good friends. But when it came to working together, like we knew that we would give it all, but they just would never let us work together. I think they were afraid that the um, that our friendship would take precedent over the work. But meanwhile, whenever we were given a scene, when we were separated, we always put our best foot forward and always gave it our all. So in my eyes, I understand where they're coming from. But at the same time, I also think they should have thought like, maybe they'll deliver really great work together. Um, but in the end, they let us do our showcase together, which yeah, was great. The showcase together, they let us do a play together. Um, um, but just, we were we were trying to just get something going for when we left school because we didn't know really what to do. And Essence started writing coffee, and he showed it to me, and I helped edit it and rewrite some things. We did a couple of drafts, and yeah, he he came up with the uh, uh, well, I I yeah, we we wrote it together towards the end. It was like we both were just in it together and as as we've rehearsed it as 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 much as because we're we come from theater base so we rehearsed it a lot so uh the more we rehearsed the more edits we started making um and uh so in the end it like kind of became our baby uh both of ours and uh we took like a good chunk on it we took like six months to write it the premise changed a lot uh circumstances changed a lot the endings changed a lot um so a bunch of things that we were like, ah, Hulk, no Hulk, should we leave it? Should we, yeah, it was, and then uh, as soon as we got out, we just kept, um, we just kept like powering through, having production meetings again and again and again. And finally, six months after the, like the whole pre-work, we, we shot it in uh, one day. It was like- a Wow, wow. Hour day. That was intense, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, it was our first film we never really like produced and we had no idea what we were doing, so. <laughs> we uh we kind of just it was very intense but at the same time it was probably i mean for any I we've, we've I, done a couple films and yeah but the the thing with i think that the thing with theater is also there's a there's something called tech rehearsal that we have yeah. during theater where like you're there for like 12 13 14 hours and there's a lot of time it's like you're just spending sitting around and i think we kind of we just out of school so we knew what the feeling was not to say like towards the end we were tired but we were also doing a lot more work uh jihoon uh was sort of directing it but sort of like he was like uh he was a cinematographer of it too um the acting work on it we were just directing each other when i was not in the scene i would do it when he was in the scene he would do it and harry's more hands-on on like uh shots and like how it should look so the last shot of like um us sitting on that him and uh, tiffany sitting on the couch is all Harry. Harry was just like, you know, I'm just gonna, there's a couch, we're gonna do the scene over here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it was like, we had something different planned and it happened differently, but uh, it came out beautiful. So he's more well-versed when it comes to like camera work and stuff. Is it well, yeah. experience that you've had or it's just kind of innate? Uh, I just, I, I, don't, I don't really know. Honestly. I, I didn't have much, I, I've, I've done other films with other people and I always wanted to be, involved in like what was how it was going to be shot not not that I had to, as an actor it's not my job to worry about that uh but I always was interested like working on other short films of like oh how are they doing this 
what are they using? Like, well, I didn't even ask. I just was watching and trying to like steal with my eyes a little bit. And uh, I love, you know, films and so on. And that's, that's kind of, you know, I I just knew what I liked, I, what I liked to look at. And um, yeah. And that's like the interview every great filmmaker gives, right? I was an actor, but I was so interested in X, Y, Z. Hence I went into, you know, directing, I went into cinematography that there's always that uh, you know it's just it's i've heard that a lot like where it's it always starts with acting yeah <laughs> it does well i mean you know that it often does it often does because that's the people know that as the entry point and then once they're in there they understand better all the parts of it right and then develop some type of and i think if you haven't acted it's very hard to direct right like it, it, how do you direct you don't know what that feeling's like you don't know what that person's going through think it's a lot yeah. harder, you know? In and that's opinion. why I think with some of the film people that we were working with on set were really well versed with the camera and how to operate and what to do next, but they weren't well versed when it came to directing actors. And that's where Essen came in really handy because he, he and I both have seen it, you know, we watched it happen. Um, yep. So that was where we sort of, with the film crew, and our stuff kind of like balanced each other out. Um, so yeah, yeah, it was uh, <clears throat> um, it was it was a fair balance. Yeah, um, it was. Uh, I wouldn't say yeah, it was it was an intense eighteen hour. But uh, towards the end, I think um, the main part about it was that uh, we were both working together. So the joy of working with each other kind of overshadowed every other obstacle that we kept coming our way. Yes. Um, but I'll say, I mean, as far as 18 hour shoots go, we've shot like four or five films now that like, for the most part, took we did in each one in a day that took that amount of time. Um, and that was probably the smoothest one. And it was our first yeah. one. It was the first one is the most effortless. It was like, wow, everything is just happening perfectly, which was wow. just shocking. Yeah, that's rare. That's yeah. very rare. Yeah, we'll keep, it, keep that one close to our heart. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you've been um, kind of going to different festivals and, and, you know, shopping it around, how does it feel like, I guess, I don't know how many have you been at in person since COVID or like um, with it? For, uh, this is the first one. Sorry, it was in person person was the first one. Oh, wow. Because I was going to say, how does it feel to kind of hear the audience react to it live? You know, like that's usually what people go for. Yeah, uh, we're actors, we're low lives, you know, Uh, we need that, we need that. (laughs) <laughs> i don't know about that I, you know this is recording by the way <laughs> we, need, we, need, we need that instant gratification hey, I, so I can like, always edit things out if you say no 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 i don't need to no, no I, I'm, I was I'm looking teasing. left and right and i was like who's crying who's crying who's crying over here <laughs> yeah, no i mean i i think that you and i were like this is sort of like a, a dream come true in a way to, to sit with people on a big screen to watch it uh, even if there was only one other person that hadn't seen it, that you know, it wouldn't really matter to us. Just the fact that we were there, because mm-hmm. we picked the worst year to put a film in a festival. <laughs> it was it was just so bad because we were so excited to meet people and you know network, and it was just yeah. But uh, it's been a hard really- it's been a hard few years. It really <laughs> yeah. has. I mean, yeah. to come, I just feel so badly for anyone who's like starting in this mess right because or like the kids who've been stuck you know yeah it's just it's been so hard but I guess on a positive note right if you've done this you can do anything kind of (laughs) you must have that feeling that sense of like well you know it can't be as bad as 2020 I mean knock on wood because God only knows what's coming next but (laughs) I don't want to jinx us all but yeah it's it's got to be hard to be like okay here we go <laughs> like, it, was, it was tough but you know like it's like you said the, the best way you put it was just like you know what if we got through this and we were able to sort of showcase our work to even you know to the people watching on the computer uh then shit i mean anything you know anything we can get through anything's it all. possible yeah, yeah. Uh, it's only moving forward from here yeah so speaking of what's what, what's your next project what are you working on now um woof. uh we <laughs> We've had, we're, we've been like nonstop working 
uh, we made um, four. It was silence, coffee, <laughs> 15, 20 minutes. The silence yeah. was in the festival last year. Yeah. So um, team, heavy minute, um, Sasha. So there's five films, and then there was another one that we produced, The Empire Love. That was six. yeah, six. Uh, we've yeah, it's uh, it, all together since uh, August last uh, 2019 till now. We've done six shorts. Oh, seven. And, if you do, we also did the one last two weeks ago. Oh, seven now. Yeah, we just shot some. Now. <laughs> so we're You're like, oh like, yeah, that one we did yesterday. We forgot. About <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> we're we're kind of like uh, keeping as active as we can. Um, uh, this some of the stuff that we're making. He wrote a whole uh, a web series that is out on Instagram and, uh, and oh, YouTube. Wow. It's uh, very, it's very out there. If you happen to come across it, it's really out there. Yeah, and it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, it's a bunch of jokes and, and uh, it's really uh, vile yeah. jokes. Yeah, <laughs> we weren't, we were not holding back. We did not care about careers. We don't care about careers. <laughs> um, but, uh, <laughs> but it was, uh, yeah. Um, but there's, uh, there's one that, so the three films out of these films are the ones that we actually like fundraised and put time in and effort and hired people. And like did, uh, it was like a, a full real production. Full, uh, <laughs> it's a full given production. And uh, some of the films we just made uh, because we had, we, we wrote the script and we're like, you know, this doesn't require much. Just uh, uh, Harrison's girlfriend is a cinematographer. Um, I would say it helps to have friends too. And if you're, if your immediate friend group, it fills all the, buckets then you're, you're you're good to go that's yeah exactly. that's, that's exactly how we made coffee we paid everyone yeah but uh, we knew everyone everyone was our friend all the extras came on set like we're helping out we're like people from our uh grade who went to school with us um uh, yeah the harrison wrote a script called cream um uh cash uh, rules everything around me and uh wow. it's a story about betrayal uh, it's a it's a story about two gangsters um, and a third character who comes in and uh, kind of switches the plot. And um, <clears throat> we're right now in the process of rewriting, writing, rewriting, writing. Uh, but I think that's going to be the next project where we maybe crowdfund, ask for money, someone uh, help us, anyone listening, help us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, by all means. Yeah, uh, anyone who can, uh, uh, it's it's a good story. We have a good team. And uh, uh, I'm hoping uh, that uh, because Harrison is like holding on to it, and he's like, ah, yeah, we'll get to it. Yeah, I, yeah, we'll get to it. Yeah, we'll get like he's doing that because uh, um, uh, I just want to make sure that that, you know, I, I learned. So like you said, we did a bunch of films, some of which we really we crowdfunded or put our own money in and we paid everybody. We always pay everyone when we're working on the big pieces. And this big piece, uh, I want to do, I want to take everything that we've learned from the other films where we're like, okay, what can we do better? How can we do it better? If it means six more months, let's make it as specific, refined, and, and smooth as possible. Not even the production, just the actual story. Mm -hmm. And um, that's, that's where my head is at right now. Yeah, we're um, trying to specify as much as we can uh, in terms of producing the next one um so uh everything starts foundation up so i think we're like gonna go back to the script in the coming weeks and uh see how we can uh make the script as nuanced as possible um and uh try to stay i mean uh yeah specificity is like the keyword that we're going for this time it's a story that like is probably heard a lot uh, a lot more times because it's a story about betrayal but the way we want to bring it introduce it uh, we want to make it not different per se, just in, in terms of cinematically, but in terms of acting as well. These are these are people that we've never put, uh, these are shoes that Harry and I have never filled. Um, so it's the world completely different from uh, uh, just uh, out of, just not just honesty per se, but to make it as authentic as possible. There's a lot of research behind it. So uh, we, we got to go to work. So we um, that's the next project that we're like, uh, we're going to gun for soon. And what's your favorite part at these po at this point of doing these projects? When we take breaks, we make fun of each other. <laughs> so working I, together is. I, I think that's what it is. I think working together. Um, also, I mean, I I don't I can't speak for Essen about this, but I enjoy the production aspect of it of getting things together and trying to okay, let's organize this. Um, 
Yeah, so I I love that part of it. That's to me, and I hate it. So that's why. I yeah, he friends. he's he can't stand great, it. So it's making, a great combination. It's yeah, I'm, I'm like happiest when I'm making a call sheet, and there's people who couldn't like. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hire that. you. <laughs> <laughs> anytime, anytime. The also while we're working on that though, where we we noticed that so when we, we did these other films, we had to submit them to festivals. Um, you we can't show them to anybody. So it's like a year passes. Everyone's like wondering what the hell, yeah. why can't we see anything? And so we decided also uh, the film that we did two weeks ago, we're going to, we're going to make a couple more shorts that like no budget, super easy, just good stories that we like fun, maybe some drama, who knows uh, where we could just throw it on YouTube and throw it on Instagram and sort of showcase ourselves a little more because we're sort of in the dark right now. Um, also, I, I just saw like um, a really successful crowdfunding campaign where a lot of the crowdfunding was kind of little shorts that sh that she put up to kind of display the, you know, give some behind like hints at what it was going to be like without giving it away, obviously, and even just like um, promotional material that she'll, you know, eventually use. But that really she she made her goal. And, it, you know, I was very happy to see that. So I definitely think you should do your crowdfunding. But and I my point is, I think these little bits that you do will help that like you can use that as part of the crowdfunding, right? Like, here's That's our the thing. work. Yeah, because yeah, we keep asking, we've crowdfunded twice already. <laughs> And right. it's like no one has seen anything, so it's kind of like it's like yeah, uh, keep taking our money, not giving stuff. <laughs> yeah. I understand. Uh, I understand. But um, no, but <laughs> even to that point, why we want to um, keep making things is uh, because we we enjoy doing this. Uh, we're never gonna run out of ideas. We're never gonna run out of words. Uh, even if we have to do it on an iPhone one day, because we're like, ah, oh, damn, no money, rent, <laughs> that we're still gonna keep doing it um so we have no um ab absolutely like it's like we're like michael scott in season six where he's like you know i will run out i will never run out of ideas for paper companies <laughs> so uh it's one of those where we're um we're always going to keep creating um uh, hopefully with each other um um i mean uh, harrison just directed his first uh, video uh our first music video um, day before yesterday, so that's I had it. no clue what I was doing. I, I don't even know why the person. Just, <laughs> well, <laughs> obviously, you know, it sounds like you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that, I wasn't. My girlfriend was a cinematographer, and she's shooting it, and they're playing the songs, and she's like looking at me, and I'm like looking at her, and she's like, "Why aren't you directing them?" And I look at her, I'm like, "I'm waiting for the the camera to cut. Like, you're not supposed to talk during a filming." And she's like, "This isn't short films. It's a music video. Like, it doesn't matter." <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of respect for people in front of the camera in our world. So it's like never to like the process of the person in front of the camera is super, right. uh, yeah, yeah it, it's super fragile. It's super precious and you keep it that way as much as you can. Um, I think that's yes, what we, yes. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I spent years at MTV and honestly, I never would have thought of, because I was always kind of doing like the show content creation, whatever. I never would have thought of, oh, you can talk during a music video shoot. Like that, honestly, that's, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah that's very yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where I was the other day. I was like, okay, all right. Yeah. Quiet on set doesn't matter here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you guys keep creating. I, I hope we keep seeing your films too. And I think personally that the reason they didn't let you work together at Brooklyn College is because they didn't want you to outshine the other kids. <laughs> uh, see, uh, you know, yeah. you just, you just right? broke it. <laughs> they were like, oh, you know, nobody else will get a chance to shine. We've got to separate them. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, how could you not, like chemistry is like at least 50% of the equation, right? If not yeah. more. So yeah. I don't, yeah, it made, it makes no sense otherwise. So. That's what I thought. But. Yeah, uh, we did. We did recently did a film, uh, and uh, we didn't have any scenes with each other. We had it with one oh, yeah. uh, other person, and uh, it was amazing. It was she's an amazing actor. But when it all was done, uh, said and done, we were like, damn, she could have could have put one same scene with each other in this <laughs> one. <too." laughs> so it's never enough. It's, hey, uh, you know, if it works, it works, right? It, it it's not so much about ego as it is about it, it works. Like it's an effective combination. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I, I'm a firm believer in the fact 
that uh, the only reason I would be the actor that I want to be is because of the person that I'm working with. Um, and I think that's been ingrained in us uh, and training and even like it's a it's a practical thing that we saw happening. Sure. Um, you're only as good as someone else uh, in front of you. Um, so it's always been a reflection that the performances that I take most pride in has, has mostly only been with Harrison. And, and, and so, I can say the same about um, That's why I think you know, to find a person that you could do that with and have the same uh, interest, not like just in terms of acting, also outside of acting. Because we are like, we're really good friends. We're like brothers. We live 10 minutes apart. We hang out almost every weekend. We see each other like, so much that our girlfriends are weird about it um, <laughs> <laughs> so and we live with them uh, <laughs> yes i know what, what was it at the at this at the ceremony what did you say oh like um this is the person i'm closest to in the world and then you were like and our girlfriends are here <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah um yeah it's um, like yeah, yeah. I was re-watching the videos and I saw, oh my God, when you called out my name, I got up and like just hugged theirs and didn't even see my own girlfriend on the right. Hold on, if you have, if you have that video, send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, we have, we have. We yes, have please do. Yeah, please do. Cool. Yeah, of course. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate your work. Uh, I'm thrilled to have you as part of the festival in general. So. Oh, thank, thank you. you no, so you, you, you're you you like, you've been one of our first supporters and we, oh, we so appreciate so you. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're so, we're, we're going to promote it uh, even <laughs> next year. As, as we'll as have, as we'll as have some stuff for you next year too. Yeah, we'll have. I look forward to it. Stuff.